Howdy y'all, my name is Brent Hefferton, Mr. Hunter, Tome War of the Mr. Hunter Tribe, and today I wanted to talk to y'all about The Lurker Below. The Lurker Below is one of the bosses in Serpent Shrine Cavern. He is after Hydros the Unstable, and markedly more difficult to boss for Raid to execute. Some guilds will skip this boss and go from Hydros over to Leothas the Blind into Fathom Lord. For this boss, you have to fish him to get him up, and there's a bunch of mechanics that a whole raid has to do. The boss comes up where that whirlpool is, and people are all spread out on different platforms because in phase two, Naga spawn all over the place. So people need to spread out so that those are spread out and then take them down. As a tank, you're tanking next to that little river of water. Waiting for him to fish it up. Oh, I'm at the wrong spot. At this river of water, the zigzags all the way across. And I'm waiting now. For this fight, I'm wearing mostly mitigation gear. I do have a threat cape. But everything else mitigation. Sword and board. And I'm jumping in. You see the whirl ability? You want to have your back against the wall. He does a whirl. And he knocks everyone in melee back. I'm using Devastate Heroic Strike. Shield Slam Heroic. Shield Block Devastate. I've got Iron Shield Potion up. In the upper right. See that? Commanding Shout is up. I've got my Consumes up. I'm keeping up Thunderclap and Demo Shout. Five stacks of Devastate. Jump in the water. There's Spout. This deals a ton of damage and knocks people super far back. So they need to jump in the water. All the way in the water. And then it won't harm them. I'm just tanking it in the water. It's only ticking for about a thousand. Braun is... Main tank heal, and he's at full mana, so that doesn't even perturb him. He gets to regen during that phase, assuming everyone does the mechanic correctly. So I jump back up. I'm on the very, very front edge of this. That's very important. The whirl ability, if you're on the very front edge, you'll still be on the platform. He also does a target point water spit thing. Which can knock you back even further than that. Depending on your raid, you may just sit with your back against the wall in the water. If your healers can keep up with it. Alright, phase 2 is out. Ads are showing up. You want to have 3 tanks on the center platform. And each tank picks up 1 melee ad. The hunters over there on their platform, you see the frost traps. They froze some to CC. And the warlock elemental shaman. They're fear and stuff. They're hoping DPS. They're just spamming fears on those, you see. Both of those are feared. So the people on each platform CC the ones on their platform or kill them. Or both. You have a bit of time to take out all these ads. If you have deadly boss mods, you can see the emerge CD. I'm waiting for him. I'm back at the river. I have commanding shout. That's good. Wind fury's up. Consumes up. Food buff. I believe I use agility food for this fight. A little bit of mitt, a little bit of threat. Spout, I'm in the water, back to the wall. I'm fighting him in the swimming pool, basically. It's fine. It's about time a tank had an aquatic fight. I'm keeping up shield block. I got plenty of threat. If they're ranged, they can't really pull threat on the boss, so only melee have to worry about it. That makes the Rylands fight pretty easy. I guess depending on your melee and your tanking situation. But I've just got King's Defender. Got Shield Slam. He's not hitting me super hard. 3.1k white hit, 1.4 parry. 1,000 from the water, 3.4. 1k from water, 3.8 hit. Parry, 4.4 crit, something like that. He's doing the spout thing, we jump in. I switch into Berserker Stance to get Berserker Rage. I fear I'm taking this damage, so I might as well get more Rage Gen. 
and he's not doing physical hits during the spout. So the damage on you is way less. World again, I'm on the very front edge. I don't have my Demo Shout, I don't have my Thunderclap, where's that? There it is, Demo Shout. Submerge again. Look for an ad, pick it up. CC the ones on your platform. Warlock Sphere, Hunter's Trap. What is the other one, Mage? Mage is probably a counter spell. Sheep, who knows. Can you disarm these? I think you can. Pretty easy, guys. I have 100 rage. I'm good to go. Waiting for him. Do we have iron shield? Merge in 10. 32 seconds on commanding shout. He's up. I just jump in. I got my Iron Shield. Heroic Strike Shield Slam. We got Threat. There's not a Threat reset when he submerges, so if you were the main tank before, you'll probably still have Threat. The boss is Taunt Immune, I believe. But I don't think I tried Taunting. We're just focusing him down. This fight gets really, really hard if you get deaths in the fight because then you're going to lose the platforms or it takes too long to kill the adds. So you want to have as few people die on this fight as possible. I see the spout CD. As a tank, I jump in. I also call this out in comms. Get ready for spout. So people know it's not about parsing and dealing damage. It's about not getting knocked out of the fight and killed. I'm just staying in. I can see Braun, my healer, he's above half mana. We're fine. I can take a thousand damage. Shield slamming, shield blocking. And that's a lurker blow. Oh. Not yet. We got another ad phase. We got two people dead. Pull this guy. Nice power to use hammer justice on that. So you can stun these. That one's on healer. Taunt it off. Shield slam. Got no rage. Paladin taunt. Got him grouped up. These do a frontal cleave, so be careful. If you're melee, you want to be behind him. Under rage. Ready for 2% HP. I'm by the zigzag river. Commanding shout up. In the water, back to the wall. I'm tab targeting him. Shield slam right away. And that's a lurker below. And that's a mal to the tides. Abyss. Warrior tank weapon. For the phase. Best of luck on y'alls. Hope this fine explanation was helpful. Remember, the water doesn't hurt that bad, so when a mechanic is showing up, just jump in. You'll be fine. Don't forget to repair before you leave town. Best of luck on y'all's biss, and as always, ancestors watch over you.